in today's video, I'm about to show y'all how to score on offense with the pick and roll. And I can show you how to become very successful or you can become a cheeser. I don't know. But after this, I'm then I'm gonna show y'all the gameplay of the footage of pick and roll only. How I'll be scoring with pick and phase, pick and roll with the jump shot, with the screens. You gotta understand the animations of the screens. Okay, guys, those are people who don't know how to do a pick and roll on the PlayStation 5. You press L1 to bring a man over. It could be a power forward or a center. Now, what you do is you wanna do a pick and roll or you want to change the direction, just press the, the left the left stick with the analog stick to change the direction. Let me show you, hold on a second. You press the left stick to change the direction or the other side, the right side or the left. Depends what direction you want to go to use the screens, okay? Now, all right, next up, pick and fade. To do a pick and fade, you press R1 on the PlayStation 5. On the Xbox, you press the right bumper to do a pick and fade with your, with your center. All powerful, it doesn't matter. So you wanna do a pick and fade, you press R1. But first you press L1 to do a pick, and then you press R1 to do a fade. And you go like that. Now, if you wanna do a pick and roll other than with the power four of the centers, what you do is, right, you press L1, and then you press circle or you press square, and which guy you wanna do a pick and roll with. So I'm gonna show y'all right now. Say I'm gonna use T. Harris as a screen, as a screener. You hold square. To bring him over, you can do pick and roll with him, or you can do a pick and fade. It doesn't matter. Now I'm gonna show you another one with a well point guard or a shooting guard. It does not matter. Now with a shooting guard, you press L1 to icon, then you hold circle and bring a man over. Now you can choose you wanna do a pick and fade with this guy or pick and roll. So do a pick and fade, like I said earlier, you press R1. Alright, step number one is gonna be pick and roll. I'm gonna try to roll my man, the, the center to the paint. And he's gonna finish at the rim, whatever. So I'm gonna show y'all an example. Now understand this, you gotta understand the animation of the game. So say your opponent gets stuck on the screens, you gotta advantage to pull up a shot or make make your center roll to the basket. Now see, you see uh, where the center is at? He paying attention to James Harden. He's not paying attention to Jerome B. So once you see the center paying attention to you, the ball carrier, make sure you throw like a log or you pass it to Jerome B. And then you get like an open dunk on an M1, depends on the situation. Or it could be a layup, doesn't matter. Right, another step is gonna be is a pick and fade. This combination is so lethal. If you play with the San Francisco or the Nuggets, it doesn't matter. But my team, very easily. You can do a pick and fade in any center because, because every center could shoot in my team mode. So that should be very easy. But playing online people who play this mode, it depends on the center. You can do a pick and fade if they have a three ball. Or mid-range, depends on the situation. Now, I'm gonna show y'all, for example. Now, look at this. I use the screen with Harden, with Joel B. Now, you see you see how um, Bam and Kyle Lobby is paying attention to James Harden? That's what you want. Now, you kick it to Joel B. he's wide open. And then you put up for a three ball, just like that. All right, next up, how to score with a point guard, small forward, or it could be a shooter guard. That's not matter. I'm going to show you how to shoot off the screen with a normal jump shot. You have to, you have to crisp stop, though. You got to learn how to crisp stop, and then you, you go for a pull-up. Now, I'm going to show you how with the screen. Now, it depends on the screen. You said how Kyle Lowry had a hard time fighting through the screens? This is your time to shoot. Now, pay attention to the center. You see how he keep out on Harden? But it's up to him to step up, or he's going to stand there. A lot of guys that off ball, with the center, they use it standing it because they, they wait for you to drive, but they don't spare you to pull it. Or, unless you're using Seth Curry, because they'll play up on that. So all you gotta do is drive. But with Harden, and you see you see how much space he's, he's giving him? All you gotta do is shoot it, and that's it. That's all you gotta do. But understand the animation and make sure you read the defense. Learn how to read the defense. The next step, I'm gonna show you how to do a, a difficult shot with the pick and roll. Now this right here is gonna be very effective. It's very hard to guard. They're not gonna stop you if you master with your difficult shot with certain players like Dame Dollar, Steph Curry, James Harden, Kevin Durant. You know a lot of shooters. If you do like a lot of difficult shot off the screens, it's really hard for them to guard you. Now I'm gonna show you for example. But make sure you use your, your hesitation moves, your dribble moves, the quick momentum, so that way you can speed boost with the screen. Once you speed boost with the screen, it's hard to guard that. It, it don't matter you're using Kawhi Leonard, they have Michael Jordan against you, it does not matter. Even Jimmy Butler. Now, you can speed boost off the screen 
with the hesitation move, hit him, hit him with the crossover real quick. It depends on the first quick first step with the player. You will move very fast, especially in my team. Everybody got Hall of Fame quick first step, so you're able to move very fast with the screen. But don't do like don't don't zigzag. It's not gonna work. Do like a hesitation move, so that way you can speed boost with the screen. Now you see you go for a difficult shot. You see you see how hard it is to guard that. You can't guard that. I'm gonna show y'all one more time. Look. You see how Jimmy Butler getting stuck on the screen? By the time then, I could pull up a jump shot. Depends on the center gonna pick up or not. Now say the center decides to stand in. They that's your opportunity to shoot the ball with the difficult shot. I'm gonna show you a lot of that during the gameplay video with Trey Young and Steph Curry. Even Kevin Durant. You see this? You can't stop that. Once you practice that in the 2KU, it's over for, for your opponent. So make sure you work on that at all times. All times. This is this is not a normal jump shot. This is a difficult shot off the screen. See? This is a difficult shot. Learn, master that. I'm telling you. You'll be very effective on offense. Who cares about pick and roll? Their job is to guard you. You're not here to show respect. Who cares? John Sauter is the master of pick and roll. So once you master that, the opponent will be very mad. They're going to start pause, cheesing, frustration. They might send you a message. Who knows? But make sure you practice that every time. All right, the next step is going to be is pick and roll to, to drive to the rim. So I'm going to show y'all for example. You see, I'm using Harden, using Jerome B as, as a pick and roll guy. Now, you see Tyler Hero is paying attention to James Harden. He's not even paying attention to the corner. So make sure you pay attention to the defense and make sure you read the defense at all times. Well, it's the same thing. Who cares? But anyway, I'm driving to the rim, going to the right side. Now, you see Tyler Hero worrying about James Harden. Now, A, I got, I got an option. A, I could drive to the rim. Or B, I kick to the corner to Tyrese Maxey. So it's up to y'all. It's up to your decision. Decision, because most of the times when you play online, they don't do their defensive settings. So sometimes they defend that their defense they be collapsing. So make sure you force them to collapse when you use screens and things like that. That's why people use pick and rolls up most of the time because that's the only way it could create mismatch and make the defense collapse. You be wide open with the screens. So it's very effective. So you want to drive to the rim, it's up to you. You could be sneaky with it, or you kick it to the corner. It's up to you. But you go all the way for the slam or an easy layup. Depends on the animation they're going to give you. You just never know from 2K. 